So he says that the Biden corruption is embarrassing to America. And then he also says that it's responsible for why Russia was able to take Crimea without firing a shot. Can you explain what he means by that? I can't. And uh, I, I tried to get him to expand on that because the timing isn't exactly right. In 2014, Crimea was, uh, Crimea was invaded. 2015 uh, is when he was fired. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Brian, here, you, th this is exactly the crux of it. And, and you miss it entirely. And I don't know how people with all the resources of Fox News or any media could miss this crucial point. The very day that Putin swept in to take Crimea, Hunter Biden, son of the sitting vice president of the United States, was in Moscow with his business partner, Devin Archer, in Moscow, making a deal with Burisma the same day that Putin took Crimea. And even though, per the terms of the 1994 Budapest Memorandum, when Ukraine agreed to give up its nuclear weapons, you know, the United States was supposed to protect Ukraine from anyone taking its territory, from anyone invading. Putin took Crimea and the U.S. did nothing. The U.S. was led by the Obama-Biden administration. And the same day that Putin took Crimea, the son of Joseph Robinette Biden was in Moscow meeting with Burisma, which was led by a member of the government, the pro-Putin regime that the people of Ukraine had kicked out of their country. Burisma, a company that had its, has its major uh, natural gas assets in the Crimean Peninsula. So Burisma, been, Burisma was in a tough situation after the Revolution of Dignity. They were separate from their money source from, from Crimea for several weeks until Putin took Crimea. And the self-same day that Putin took Crimea, Hunter Biden, son of the vice pre then vice president of the United States, was in Moscow meeting with Burisma. That was in March 2014. The next two months, the U.S. did nothing. They, they sent some MREs and some blankets to Ukraine. No weapons. And Putin was allowed to get away with it. So this is exactly the crux of the issue. And how could you, you Fox News people, with all your resources, miss this simple and verifiable and clear detail? This is the heart of it. In fact, it's so much the heart of it that in July 2019, right after, now, or June 2019, right after President Zelensky uh, took office. Uh, he hired as his press secretary a woman named Yulia Mendel. Uh, a month before, in May 2019, Yulia Mendel and several other reporters broke the story in the New York Times about the money that Hunter Biden made from Burisma, starting, it seemed, from May 2014. Two months after Putin took Crimea, Burisma was united with Crimea. The son of the vice president of the United States, who did nothing to protect Ukraine, despite the agreements, uh, started making, it seemed, at least $70,000 a month from Burisma. And the woman who broke this, one of the three people that broke this story uh, in the New York Times, Zelensky hired her. So he knew about this corruption. He knew that there was at least, there was something funny going on. The White House did nothing to protect Ukraine, but the son of the vice president in that same White House administration was making a ton of money per month from friends of Vladimir Putin, who benefited from Putin taking Crimea from Ukraine. Zelensky hired this reporter who understood this story as his press secretary. And so when President Zelensky spoke with Donald Trump in that infamous phone call, which is so dangerous to talk about, because <laughs> you can see why. I think Zelensky knew more than Trump about what Biden was doing here. That's what we have to realize. Thank you for introducing Ukraine on your social media pages. That's very important that much more people can get more information about the situation here and how everybody can help Ukraine to stay stronger and to save all the world. <laughs> На чьей стороне? Come on now, oh, which side are you on? На чьей стороне?